All right, guys, welcome back. So we have seen how to use the QSharp uh, programs in the Jupyter Notebooks embedded in the Azure Quantum. We have also seen how to use that in the CLI command line interface. And now in this lecture, we will see how to write your QSharp programs in the VS Code, our very own VS Code. Now I have already told you how to get started with VS Code, how to install it. And I have also told you one necessity is to use the Quantum Development Kit extension in the Visual Studio Code. Just to confirm if you have the extension installed correctly, you can go to extensions over here and under the installed extensions, you will see the Microsoft Quantum Development Kit for Visual Studio Code. If this is here, you're good to go. Sometimes you might also get an error of the .NET SDK. If that is the case, you might also have to install the .NET SDK and then uh, you should be as well good to go. So to begin with what we will do is go to view and go to command palette or you can press control shift T as well. And then type in Q hash, right? Q hash and you will see a couple of options. So you have to click on create new project. So if you're doing it for the first time, it might be a little slow. You have to wait, but then if it if it's a couple of times you have done that, you can see a couple of options already, right? You can either go for a standalone console application or a quantum application targeted to INQ or Honeywell or Toshiba, whatever are the available uh, quantum solution providers. All right, so I will go for standard console application. What it will ask me is a location. So I will probably create a project. I will put up a project name as uh, quantum one. Okay. And then I would click on create project. All right. So successfully created. Now after this dialog box, click on open new project. Do you trust the others? Yes. I trust and all right, almost there. Now we can see that there are two uh, files that are created. One is a quantum one project, right? If I click this, I will see the content of the project, the, the SDK version, uh, the output type, target framework. If you uh, only want to do that for a particular quantum solution provider, you want to also add another <coughs> line of code over here for the execution target and then you can maybe put INQ, put the Shiva. You can do that over here. Now what we will work with is the program.qs that is the our, our Qsharp code. Okay so by default it comes with a hello world program. Awesome so you are just going to write a hello world program in quantum computing Qsharp language right now in a few minutes. So this is our Q sharp program. We have a namespace. We have some dependencies, uh, some operations, variable types, and that's how you print something in Q sharp. Okay. So once you are good with the code, uh, click on terminal and go for new terminal and under terminal, you're on the right path. You must write .NET run. If there are any dependencies, if there are any more dependencies that you do not have, it will ask at this time to add those dependencies, right? And if there is none, you will have the output. And as you can see on my screen, the hello quantum world is printed. So congratulations. If you are with me right now, you have successfully written your first hello world program as a quantum program in a new language called as QSharp in your Visual Studio code. Great. I am very happy. I have written my first Hello World program along with you. I'm sure you are excited in this new journey as well. Great. In the next lecture, we will write another uh, QSharp program and then we will also understand in a little more detail the code. Thank you.